Do you like reading books as much as I do? But sometimes keeping track of all those books could be hard. Today I want to show you how I set up a template to keep track of my books in OneNote. Well hi everyone, I'm Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. At least that's the plan anyway. I'm so glad that you joined me today and I'm hoping that the light cooperates today. The sun is peeking in and out and the wind is blowing and I think we might be getting some shadows. We'll see. It's not me that you want to see anyway. It's what we're doing today uh, to create our template. So let's get started. If you see over here on my computer screen, I've set up a blank page in my OneNote planner. My goal today is to create a book review template that I can use over and over and over again. I'm going to start with an existing template, add to that, and then save it as a template that I can use in the future. Okay, let's jump right in. The first thing that I want to do on my blank page is I am going to go up here to the insert tab and I'm going to go over here to page templates. When I click on the down arrow of page templates, you'll see that it opens this whole list of templates here on the side. Now I have looked at all of these and each one of these categories has a list of templates that you can choose from. I'm going to go down here to decorative because I know there's one that has to do with books. Ah, there it is. Click on books and you see that it brings up a little stack of books with a brown line down through the edge of it. I'm going to call this my book review template. Now let's add some things to this. I have shared with you in the past that I create a lot of templates that I store in these little containers that I can use on various pages throughout my planner. Well, today I want to focus on my book review that I've created and that's right here. So let's quickly copy that, right click, hit copy, go back to our 2021 life planner to our blank page and we are going to paste that in and you see the container gets a little bigger that's okay we can adjust it by grabbing it up here at the top and changing it however we would like now when I created this template all I did was give it a title book review and then I put these uh, title author and rating uh, items in here as a placeholder so that I would remember to include those things I also gave myself some lines here for some highlights for the book. Maybe I want to put a synopsis. Maybe I'd like to do more in-depth discussion. I could list characters, um, plots, that kind of thing. Anything that I want in here just to help me remember what happened in the book. It's especially confusing for me if I'm reading a series that has 10 or 12 books to keep track of events that happen at different times. So I like to have some place that I can write that down. Now, there's another part to this that I want to add. So let me jump back over to my personal notebook. And right here I have a list of books to read. So I'm going to copy that, take it back to my 2021 Life Planner. Again, I'm going to paste that on the side books to read. Now I'm going to modify this just a little bit. I want to do books to read by this author. Now let's make that a little bit bigger. So you may want to include here other titles that that author may have written that you're interested in reading. Now you see I have lines that are here because if I wanted to I could use this on my iPad with my Apple Pencil and I could handwrite those titles in. Or if I'm using it here on my desktop and I simply want to type that title in, all I have to do is highlight the line and I can type 
title of book two and so on and so on. I can continue adding books that I would like to read by that author. I'm going to copy this again because I have gotten into reading a lot of series lately and I like to keep track of the books in order in the series that I'm reading. So again, I have lines below so that I can write the titles of the books in the series that I want. Now, looking at this page, it looks a little drab to me. Let's stick it up a little bit. Going back to my personal notebook, I'm going to jump over here to my stickers. I'm going to maybe grab a star for a rating and we'll take that back to our planner and maybe we want to put those stars so that they can be used by our rating. So let's move him over and we'll make him a little smaller. Let's add some more. If we go over to our Autumn Splendor boxes, there are some beautiful post-it notes there. I like this sticker, so I'm going to copy that, take it back to my notebook, paste on the side, move it up a little. We notice it's a little big. We can make it smaller by grabbing those corners. Now you'll notice that my list is going underneath. So what I want to do here is go down to order, right click and go down to order and say bring to front and that will put my list in the front and that will put the post-it note in the back. I still can grab the post-it note and make it the size that I need to fit the box that I have. That looks much better, yes. Now let's go get something for the books to read in this series. I don't want to use the post-it notes again. That might be a little decorative. That one's kind of nice. I could use bullet dots. No, let's use this one down here. So we're going to choose that, copy, go back to our notebook, paste on the side, send that to the back by ordering. And then you see it goes right behind. Then we can adjust the size as needed and get it to fit just the way we want. Now, that looks fantastic. I don't have any details in here yet because remember, we're trying to set this up as a template so that we can add other things as we go. I think I'm going to copy this star because I'd like to set up some star ratings come over here and work on the side. We'll make him a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. Copy him again. So there's a one star rating. Maybe we could give a two star rating. Put them right close to each other. Almost touching, but not quite. Then let's do a three star rating. Oops. Now another trick that I want to show you, in case you don't know, is you can go to the draw tool, click on the lasso, circle those two stars together, copy them, and paste them. And they stay together. Now I have a three star rating. Let's paste again, and again, Move those close together. Now I have a four star rating. Let's go for five. Paste. Paste again. One more time. And we don't need six, we just need five. So let's get rid of that last one. We'll click on him and delete. Now, 
Because I have all of these stickers separated, again what I can do is I can go over here to the lasso tool and I can circle all five of those stars together. Notice how they all stay connected. I can copy that. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to paste, but not as an individual picture. I'm going to go down here to paste as a picture and you see there's our five star rating. And when I click on that again, you'll notice that it is one big box now. So you can choose the five star rating. Paste as a picture, and there's our four star rating. When I click on it, you see that all four of those stars stay together. I can still adjust it. I can still make it smaller. If I want to choose this for my rating, I can do that. I'm going to speed it up while we do the rest of these. Let's come back in and erase all of these stars individually so they don't clutter up our template. I'm simply holding down the control key and clicking on each star and it's adding it. There we go. Now we can delete and we'll get rid of our sample, delete, and our one star there, also delete. There you go. Now we have our book review and we're going to save this as a template so that we can use it over and over again. It's very simple. Let's go back over here to the far right hand side and if you look down at the very very bottom of the templates page it says save current page as template. We're going to do that. It's going to ask us to give it a template name. I can type book review and I hit save. It's that easy. Now if I want to add a new page all I have to do is go under the templates, my templates, and there's book review and it adds a second page that you see right here. Here's the first one that we just created. Here's the second one that we just created. It's that simple. Now I'm going to go away and I'm going to fill in one of these so that you can see what it looks like. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. I just read a great book by Paula Braxton and it is called Little Shop of Found Things. And I wanted to record that. So here I have given it a five star rating. I think it was a great book. Um, I chose different stars. <laughs> That's okay. You can pick whatever color you like. I want to go in with my Apple Pencil and color in the stars to match the book. I thought the gold ones were a little too bright for this particular book. Also, you'll notice here, I switched the books to be read in the series and the books written by the author. I simply grab those containers and swap them around. On our original template, they look like this. And you see, that's too big, <laughs> so I had to switch, but that's okay. All you have to do is grab your container and you can move it to where you want it to be. Grab this container and put him back. So here in the book review section, you see that I have the title of the book, the author, a rating system, the highlights or a summary of the book. And then down here at the bottom, I've also included a link to her web page. And I have also included a link to the reader's guide that I have also stored in OneNote. So if I click on that, you see the little shop of found things behind the novel reader's guide. And this is simply a PDF that I dropped into OneNote so that when we get ready to talk about this book in book club, I will have all the information that I need. And there you have it. A simple way to make a template that you can use over and over again in your planner. If you found value in anything that we've done here today, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. 
A like really is the best compliment that you can leave me. It also helps other people find our channel so that they can learn more about OneNote. And with these stripes on my face, I look like I'm in jail or behind a fence. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Keep reading. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite author or favorite books are. I'm always looking for new and wonderful things to read. Well, okay, until next time. Okay, bye.